Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, or if you're just coming back, hi, I'm Kat. <laughs> so you haven't seen my face in a while. I know, I apologize. I've been uh, busy with life and doing life things. I've been turning this into things like this. And like this. And like this. Yep, I've gotten into the addiction of uh, pore painting and it's completely taken over my life. I'm hooked. So I thought that I would make a quick video to teach you guys if you're interested in maybe pouring some paint with me. It's super, super easy to do. All you need is some paint and a canvas and some mixing cups. And that's pretty much it. You know, you can create what they call cells using various products. Uh, I find I get my cells the best from alcohol. 50 or 70% alcohol is fine. Uh, I've just been using dollar store paints. They're crafters acrylics or uh, winner's paints, which is craft smart. There's also the Walmart paint, which is apple barrel and Walmart has folk art and you can get neon paints, mats, satins, shiny paint, opaque paint, any kind of vision that you can picture in your mind, you can create using these paints. Uh, I do have more expensive paints like Daler Roni and even I have a couple of uh, the golden paints. I really find I get the best results using just paints that it's a dollar. You know, it doesn't really have to be very expensive paint to get a good quality picture. I've done a couple of good ones that I'm really proud of. I am really proud of this one. And I keep having people ask me, are you going to start selling them? Are you going to sell them? And I'm like, um, some days I think that they're like the most amazing thing I've ever seen. And then I look at them again and I'm like, to sell though? I don't know if I would give them away. And then I make something that I really like. Like this piece. I love how the glow, the green starts like glowing in there. And I make a piece like that and I'm like, oh, I don't really want to sell that. But my mom said to me, you know, you can't have like 40 pieces of your own art on your wall. And I'm like, can't I? <laughs> but it's my place. If I want to have 40 pieces of my own art on my own walls, I'm going to do that. So I'm going to show you guys how to mix this paint. So you can see these ones. I used these ones earlier, so they are kind of already mixed together. But I will make a little bit of green so I can show you guys what I'm doing. Just going to use the same green that I had. So you take your green and get a little bit I'm only going to make a little bit because I'm probably not going to use this paint. So it's going to go to waste. You get a little bit in the bottom of your cup like that. And then you can take 
an eyedropper. If you don't have an eyedropper, you can usually go to your local pharmacy and they'll give you one for free. You have to tell a little white lie. Say like, oh, my daughter's sick. Poppy, what are you doing? Get out. Or go on the bed. Get up on the bed. Thank you. Just get a little eyedropper like that. Now they, they, you know, I've watched my own videos on YouTube and they say to put in 10 drops of water. One, two, three, Ten, and then I found I found these mixing stir, stir sticks at the second hand store and they work perfectly but you can get mixing sticks at the dollar store and you just take your water like that and you mix it all up So that it's to like a pouring consistency. Because you want to be able to pour it. And then you take your two colors. We'll pour this color into this color. It could probably be a little bit more watery. When I need to add more water to it, I just eye it out. Like, whoop. A little bit of water. Give it another mix. Remember, this is by no means professional. <laughs> I've seen people use get like very technical in this. Some people are very serious about their pores. I'm just doing it for fun. So it doesn't really matter if it's not perfect. Okay, so see there you have two different colors on top of each other. Bring the orange down a little bit. And then I find a new thing that people are doing is called open cup pour. There's so many different techniques that you can use. There's an open cup pour. There's the closed cup pour, the egg carton pour, where you'd Fill each one of these with a different color, layer it, and then put other color, like maybe black or white or gold up here so that when you pour it out onto your canvas like this, move it around, it's like all different designs. And then you take your canvas and you move it around like this, or you have an egg or a, an egg decorator, a cake decorator that spins like a lazy Susan. So you can <laughs> spin it like that around and around and around until you get your desired picture that you like. But I'll just show you how you get the pour. This is an old board that I've been using so you take your paint and it'll come out and it's coming out see how it's and it, it's your idea is to get like some sort of a design this is by no means a design 
and then you just see you have the two different colors there and then you just take it and move it around move it around and then you leave it and it dries and you get pictures like this I've always loved creating things and seeing how it turns out afterwards like I find that very rewarding so to see art like this come out of my existence it's totally fascinates me. But like I said, you know, I'm by no means a professional. So if you get mistakes, you can go back to pouring, mix more paint. They say that you can save every pour. I don't know if I believe that because I've screwed up royally a couple times and I'm like yeah I'm going over that because that uh. and it does I find like it can be discouraging if you have like three or four pores or your dries aren't right and it just starts looking like a kindergarten could do better don't get discouraged it doesn't come naturally for everybody it's not easy for everybody you know like if you're already artistic you know some things just come easier than other things for some people I love art and I love creating I love to see things come together in a visual sort of way so if you've been thinking about trying out the pour paints try it like it it's see it's very addictive like I could just sit here for hours and just come up with some sort of creation and you just watch the colors moving and I don't know I just find that very fascinating so if this video interests you and you are a fan of pore painting or just a fan of mine and want to subscribe to my channel I would really appreciate that um, I'm not trying to sell you anything or make you buy anything you know it's just me sitting here by myself having a good time creating and making fun so that's what life should be about not uh, making drama or creating drama for other people so love you guys don't look at my face because I was out in the hot sun the other day with no frigging water for about five hours on a roof and I got dehydrated and burnt my lips. So, yeah. Ooh, yuck. Okay, love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Okay, have a good day. Bye.